All right, it's a Saturday morning. Hope you're having a good day thus far. We've got weather to talk about. It's beneficial rainfall thus far. It's going to be um, a longer race. In other words, atmospheric rivers are not sprints. It's not like, oh, here it comes, here it goes, here's how much rain we got. It's like, it's raining uh, next day. Oh, it's raining again uh, next day. It's, they go on and they're, they, they're, they keep going. And so that's kind of where we are. Beneficial rainfall thus far it hasn't been out of control in terms of how much rain we've been seeing. We are seeing high elevation rain. Let's take a look. I think I can cue this up. This is um, Palisades Tahoe and this is right now, which is approximately 930 in the morning. And that's above seven. Well, it's about 7,000 feet right there. So that's rain, sleet, melting snow. And that's the thing with atmospheric rivers. It's usually tapping a subtropical source, which means it's just warmer and a warmer air mass. And so your snow levels are high. On the other side, if you go west of the hills, you're going to see um, extreme amounts of rainfall, right? Because it's, it's, a, it's basically raining to beat the band all the way up to the pass level. So very, very wet up in Tahoe, very, very wet in Northern California. We can peak it. Uh, this is in the Mount Shasta watershed. This is a live camera. And again, this is around 930 in the morning. But this is Mount Shasta wa or Lake Shasta watershed. And you're seeing in Lake Orville, Lake Shasta, you're seeing significant rises. You're seeing significant rainfall. And it's really just begun. And we'll see how that looks on the models. This is the um, water vapor loop. And it's just, it's, it's, it, it's essentially just showing you the water vapor, right? And so you can see where the white areas would represent the most water vapor. And you can see that the yellows would be dry, but so we've got a very moist flow out of the Pacific over us. And again, look where the water is coming from or the precipitable moisture is coming from low latitude down, right? Way down in the, in the lower latitude. So you're seeing very low, low or high snow levels, which is unfortunate, but not unheard of. That's what atmospheric rivers do. Um, if you're, you know, you, like we talked, a buddy of mine went skiing yesterday and I'm like, well, it's going to rain, right? I mean, it just is. Now, it'll turn over to snow as we go into Monday night and Tuesday and that'll be good. And then it'll kind of wane from there a little bit. But in the meantime, it's just going to rain and we're going to lose a lot of snow at the lower elevations because of the rain, like below 6,000 feet. And that's a drag because, right, that's the water you want to hold it. The West, the Sierra Nevada is all about holding water in the form of ice so we can use it throughout the spring as opposed to having it just run off all at once. And that's what's going to happen here. So we're going to lose a lot of snow fall below 6,000 feet, which we already had because we hadn't had snow in a while. So there's your flood watch, right, which makes sense. And that's the model. That's the weather service. That's out of Monterey going, hey, listen, it's going to rain a bunch. We're not expecting, you know, they'll, I'm not expecting any river flooding at all, but you're just, it's just consistent rain, 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 rain. And Southern California, on the other note, is they have an air quality um, thought. They're going to get in on this, but not until early next week. So this is really a Northern, Northern California um, event. And then Southern California, the reason I show you the air quality alert is because essentially what you're doing there is you're, saying, okay, we got a, we got a, um, a stable environment, which is as opposed to us who have, this is LA down here, but us, we're in like an unstable environment. So this is the GFS. Um, this model does only updates four times a day and only updates twice, a, only updates twice on initial conditions. So it's the inputs are, are good twice a day, morning and evening. So this model is awesome at showing you the big the big picture, how long this rain is gonna to continue to, or how long instability will be in our general area, right? And they're real good, it's real good at that, especially as you go out past five days. Um, but it's, well, I'll show you a model after this, it updates every hour. It's not very good long range, but it's pretty good hour by hour. And that's kind of what you need because we have decided that the way to take this event as opposed to what you're seeing in some of the, the outlets is take it day by day. Some of the stuff I've seen, you know, the flood warnings and all this. I mean, again, a meteorite could hit the earth too. Yeah, we can throw everything at the wall and get your attention or we can give you what we know. And what we know is what I'm going to show you. Um, what we have, this is the forecast that, um, from this morning, GFS. There's the rain line. And then you see by this afternoon, it pulls out. And by tomorrow morning, 
kind of starts to dry up and move back into the Lake Shasta area up into Del Norte County. The bullseye that is, that's what I keep watching. And then there is Sunday night, and then you see it start to swing through, okay? So what I just showed you is kind of a wet day today, especially north of the Golden Gate Bridge. And let me back it up, I'll show you again. There's the Golden Gate Bridge, there it is north, that's this afternoon. A little bit of rain for San Jose, but not much, very little for Livermore Valley. And then it pulls out on Sunday morning. And I think there'll be drizzle on Sunday morning, but Sunday is kind of your best day to get stuff done for a while. And then when you get into Monday morning, it kicks through. And that's Monday, after, Monday morning, Monday afternoon, into Tuesday, and then like this. So I don't feel great about that model just because, um, like I said, well, let me back it up. I want to show you this. So the thing I do feel good about is, watch, this is what it's good for in my mind, really good for, is this is through the next many days. See, what it's showing me there is progressive pattern. Lots going on. Okay, jet streams at our latitude, right? That's what you, that's, that, in general, that's what we're gonna see. That takes you through the 17th. So that's a really aggressive um, pattern. Be, it just means more rain. This is not the first. This is not, this is gonna, it's gonna keep coming. So here's the HRRR. We've, I think I've shown you this before. Um, there's, we are, there where we are, hour by hour. And you can see the rain line, right? Now we're in, it's a Marin County thing. It's a Marin County thing. This is uh, basically this going into this afternoon. And you can see, well, actually in the, in the, still in the mid morning and you see it kind of push. And then here we are in the afternoon, late, later afternoon. And then it just sort of pushes through. Now you see, where's the bullseye hanging out? So now we'll, we'll look at it a couple of times. So you see the line, it's really a Northern California thing right now, north of the Bay, north of I-80 again, this is very similar to the last one. So now I've pushed all the way through to Monday. So let's back it up again. And what the first, next thing you're gonna notice is look where the yellow areas are, see that? That's the west slope of the Sierra Nevada, that's Marin County, that's Butte County, up here in Shasta County, right? That's, that is this afternoon. So this is, again, the, the model showing significant rainfall for these areas. And then in the Bay Area, a little bit of drizzle activity around San Jose. So really what today, today looks like, wet on and off um, throughout the day. And then tomorrow we get here, let's see if we get to Sunday morning, and you see it start to lift out. Still some scattered showers, but not as aggressive. And even for Northern California. So that's the HRRR. So does this, this does exactly what we've been talking about. It's like, okay, yeah, it's, it's gonna be wet, it's gonna be drippy. Sunday looks pretty dry for the most part, south of I-80. Lake Tahoe, you're gonna have scattered showers uh, and such. And then on Monday, Tuesday, things start to shift. I know, I wish it was more, um, I wish it was, it, it, when you get a funnel system, here it comes, wind shifts, there it goes, sun comes out. It's awesome. When you got a fire hose pointed at you, it's just like, uh, somebody turned the nozzle up a little, turned it down a little bit, turned it up a little bit. That's what's happening, sort of. Okay, so this is um, Soda Springs. This is at, I think we're uh, 6,000 feet. Yes, we are. And the temperature is about 35 degrees. And in fact, it is kind of a snowy sleet, which you can get snow at 38 degrees. Um, I, I think, but, but the most part, when I look at that, when I see that roadway, that's, that's 80 right now, it does look snowy. Um, it's going to be like this for the next couple, 24 hours or so. And then it'll, um, definitely turn over to snow, but that's on Monday and Tuesday. So here are the, uh, here's the CNFRC river forecast center. When I talk about beneficial rain, I mean it. Because Marin County, which is our rain magnet over the last 24 hours, has only received, uh, uh, you know, this, mm, interesting. So when I look at these numbers, uh, the CNFRC 24-hour rainfall map, um, you can get it, it's on the links. Um, you can go 48 hours, you can go as many, you know, short as long as you want. But what I was going to say is this, those two numbers on Mill Valley, or that's Mount Tam, I guess I was going to throw them out, but I'm not going to because they're, they're both kind of, within reasonable, they're two different stations, two different sensors. So yeah, I guess Mount Tam, isn't that amazing? They could get, you know, double, easy double what 
everybody else in the area, almost triple what everybody else in the area got. But anyway, so you see that's where the rainfall is. And if you go south, San Francisco, 0.36, you can see the rain. Let me back up a little bit. And then you can see the colors. The blues change over to greens, which change over to light white, or which is under a tenth of an inch. Greens are under a half of an inch. And so you get a feel for it, right? And then this is your area. I know I should go slower on these. But 0.07 in San Jose, Livermore Valley, 0.31 or 0.27, Oakland Hills, 0.27. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty consistent. And what I, the one thing I'm picking out here is not a lot of strong dynamics with this first bit of rain coming out. But, and the reason I say that, remember we talked about the 500 millibar vorticity and the, um, uh, the, the, the jet stream positioning. I feel like the jet stream's a little further north, right? And that's why the areas that are showing the yellows, which we looked at on the model, are the areas that have the dynamics, which would be further up in here. We are not seeing that at all. Um, West Slope this year in Nevada is doing okay. Um, there's the American River drainage basin, which has got over an inch, inch and a half, two inches up around South Lake. Yeah, so we're just doing a tour of the rainfall. Again, beneficial rain. This is what you can you can go with this. Now, this is going to keep going. So right now you're like, oh, great. The middle fork of the feather has a couple inches of rain into it. Yeah, but it's going to do that consistently for the next hour, hour. It's going to keep raining, 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 raining. And so by the time all said and done, that's a foot of rain up there. Um, based on what I've seen, I think uh, it, it could be maybe even more in some cases but manageable rainfall for that kind of a watershed and the, the speed with which it's coming. So 24 hours at a time, this is Ocean Beach. It is small, which is nice. The winds are south. Um, there's a time when I would go out on these days because I was frothy and a young man and because it's surfable right now, but it just looks cold. This is the Rocky Point in Hawaii. They have had a bunch of rain and they actually tie a little bit into our system because the tail end way out in the Pacific, the moisture plume that is streaming as us went through them yesterday and they've had some extremely inclement, heavy rainfall for that area, which is not unusual, but it was an unusual amount of rain. So Hawaii getting a bunch of rain. And like we said before, snow at, at, um, at high elevations, really high elevations. So this again, uh, Palisades Tahoe. So what have we did? What do we say? Tomorrow's gonna be your better day, Sunday. But this deal kind of just keeps going in north of I-80 for the next 24 hours, the next 48 hours, and then it'll drift south after that. So um, it's a wet weekend. It is. Sunday's your best day, though. You're gonna be able to get out and do some stuff. You can get out and do some stuff today, but it's not. It's gonna be keep the umbrella handy, keep a jacket handy. Okay. That's a lot. That's a little. I'll see you back here.